dear students now we are going to discuss limits of visibility in satellite communication so here the limits of visibility represent the east and west limits of the geostationary arc which are visible from any given earth station that is the range of visibility of the satellite from the earth station do you all understand this one so these limits are set by the geographic coordinates of the earth and also the antenna elevation so here the antenna elevation value is very important to define the limits of visibility in this diagram ae represents the radius of the earth agso represents the radius of the geostationary orbit okay so here when the antenna is pointing along the horizontal so whenever the antenna is pointing horizontal at that time the elevation is zero for horizontal plane elevation angle is zero but in order to avoid the excessive noise from the air this elevation should be a minimum finite value okay so here we can consider the lowest elevation is not zero it should be a minimum finite value okay to avoid excessive noise from the get the station do you all understand this concept so next we are going to analyze the limit calculations there are two types of limit calculations one is limits of longitudinal calculation next one is limits of latitude calculation so the limits can be set by both longitudinal as well as latitude values so first one is longitudinal limits calculation so in this one we are going to consider the earth station at the equator at the same time the antenna is pointing either east or west along the horizontal plane so in this diagram theta represents the limiting angle okay so which defines the limits of visibility range so here the limiting angle theta is equal to r cosine of ae by agso okay that means cos means what the ratio of adjacent side to the hypotenuse right so here r cos means cos inverse value okay as we know that the radius of the earth ae is equal to 6378 km radius of geostationary orbit agso is equal to 42164 km we have to substitute this two values in the limit angle calculation so here limit angle theta is equal to r cosine of 6378 by 42164 then we can get theta value as plus or minus 81.3 degree okay so from this analysis we come to know that earth station can see the satellites over a geostationary arc which is bounded by 81.3 degree about the longitude so here based on the longitude if it is bounded by 81.3 degree then the earth station can see the satellites within the range okay so next one is latitude limits calculation so here the limits of visibility will also depend on the latitude of earth station so as we discussed earlier here the elevation angle should be minimum finite value to avoid excessive noise from the air so it can be represented as el minimum value its typical value is 5 degree okay so here we can mention that elevation angle as sigma min is equal to 90 degree plus el min here minimum is minimum requirement for that elevation okay in the latitude here we can use the term b so what is b it is the angle between the radius of the earth station and the sub satellite radius so from look angle calculations we can consider the angle b okay so which is involving the latitude limits calculation look angle calculations means to define the azimuth and elevation angle of the earth station antenna so in this one we are going to consider only the angle between the radius of the earth station and the satellite that is sub satellite radius okay 
So here b is equal to arc cosine of cos b cos lambda e. Okay, so here b is the angle. Okay, so here it is the angle which is used to define the elevation angle. So here we can simplify this expression by taking cos on both sides. As I told you, r cos means what? Cos inverse. If I am going to take cos on both sides means cos inverse and cos both can be cancelled. Then we can get cos b is equal to cos b into cos lambda e. Okay. So from this we can get the value of this cos b is equal to cos small b divided by cos lambda e. Here lambda e represents earth station latitude. Okay. So then we can take the arc on both sides. That is cos inverse on both sides. Then cos inverse and cos cancel. Here we can get arc cos of this ratio. So this is the value of b. Okay. It can be defined by using these two parameters. That is phi e and phi s s. Next from antenna look angle calculations. We can get the angle b is equal to phi e minus phi s s. Here lambda e is the earth station latitude Phi E is the earth station longitude. Phi SS is the sub-satellite longitude. So from this expression, we can get the value of this Phi SS. So which will define the limit in the east as well as west. Okay, so that is given over here. So here Phi SS is equal to Phi E plus B. So if it is positive means we can get the limit for east side. If it is negative means we can get the limit for west side. Okay. Finally, the angle subtended at the satellite due to the minimum elevation angle is given as S is equal to R sine of R by AGSO sine sigma minimum value. Okay. Do you all understand this one?